Hey y'all, it's Libby with Gemini Homestead. I got another quick one, and I thought, well, let's make a video of it. Don't shoot the messenger, because we are going to have to use some cheats, okay? Um, I know today, I, I need to turn that camera around. Tell you what, if we get through with this, I'll turn the camera around, and I'll show you what Buddy and I have been doing all day. We needed to eat, and I thought, well, I'll make a video of it. It's, another, it's one of those 15-minute meals again, uh, a go-to. But right here before we get to the main meal, this is some corn we had from last July, so we're trying to use it up because we just got through, you know, filling the freezer up. And all I've got is some butter, a little salt and pepper, and I got it in an iron skillet with a little bit of onion and bacon grease. I call it milking. I will literally cook all the juice out of it, but not scorch it. Um, I say out of it, you'll barely have any juice. We like it that way. And then back here on the back burner is some green beans. Just opened up a, a quart jar, some lard, garlic, onion, salt, and pepper, and I'm just letting it do its thing. But in here, let me turn my fire down, I've got a pound and a half of ground chuck that I three-quarter brown, okay? Then I added a medium sweet yellow onion and... Two minced garlic cloves. Now that's all that's in here, okay? I'm going to come in here with a little pepper, and I like to use a, a heavy cracked black pepper. And then just cooking salt. It looks generous, but it really is. Okay, now this is where the cheek comes in, okay? Let me get my hands white. All right. Here we go. I'm going to turn my fire completely off. We're going to come in with a can of cream of celery. Yep. Not organic. Just cheap soup. But it works. We got a can of cream of chicken. Now, is this loaded in sodium? Yes, it is. But when you got to feed your family, sometimes you've got to reach for that quick meal. Nothing going to happen to you. So that was one can of cream of celery, one can of cream of chicken, one and a half pounds of ground chuck, a medium sweet onion, and two minced garlic cloves. Then this is cheddar cheese soup. Okay? Yeah, I know y'all about to have a sodium heart attack, huh? It's all right. I promise you, it's going to be okay. Now, now all I'm going to do is get this mixed in. Now, I'm not going to add any water because I'm going to use some of my salted pasta water. To this pot, I've got some egg noodles. And all I'm going to do, because remember, everything's cooked, but some of the salted uh, pasta water is going to thin this out. And then supper's done, except for the corn and the green beans. I don't drain these. I've got this little strainer here I'll show y'all. Because it, it allows me to get some liquid. Now, I was out of the large egg noodles, and I was out of panay. So, we're going to use a medium egg noodle. But I'm not looking to have any leftovers with everybody, so it's all going to be gone. Now, you need your noodles al dente. If the package was to say 10 minutes... Cook them six. The package says 12 minutes, cook them eight. Try to take four minutes off. Because you got to remember, they're going back into something hot. So therefore, they're going to finish cooking. You want a little bit of bite, not a crunch, but a bite. Y'all see, I don't even think we've been on here three minutes. But I tried to get a jump start. Now, I'm not going to bore y'all with the green beans or the corn. But a lot of you older ones may know what skillet fried corn is. I know, you probably need some of you young ones too, huh? That's so... Uh, oh, that's the best way to eat corn. Okay, so... Oh, my nose itchy. Somebody must be coming with a hole in their breeches. Alright, now all I'm going to do is fold this in, y'all. And it's done. I just got to wait on the corn. And if I felt like it, I would make some hot water cornbread. I don't feel like it. So we've got some 
green beans from last year. We got some corn from last year. And we got this cheap one pot dish. And it is perfectly fine. It almost reminds me of I see Buddy's going to eat it, but he ain't going to like it that it's the medium egg noodles. But I did want to go and ask him to run to the store because I think that's ridiculous. you got to use what you got, you know, and be thankful that you got it. So, all right. Now, dinner's done. I'm going to put the lid on. Power's off. Done. Now I'm going to turn the camera around so y'all can see what we've been doing today. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Look at this. There's nine pints of stewed tomato juice. So what do y'all think of that? Stewed tomato juice. That's what I said. It's what I do if you've got a mixture of tomatoes. From your yellow pear to your uh, berry cherries, uh, the black bees, you know, just that mixture. What I did was, and I, I intended on making a video, Oops, I just heard pop, but we didn't think about it. We were just trying to get it done. But all I did was cut them in half. I took the core out. I put them on a, uh, a large stainless steel pan in the oven on 400 degrees. I ended up with 12 cups of juice. But I roasted them for one hour. While they were roasting, I had four garlic pods, the large ones. I cut the top off, set them upright, drizzled with olive oil, covered them with foil. I let them go 30 minutes. So, okay, the, uh, the tomatoes come out of the oven. The garlic comes out. I had uh, six cups of bell pepper, six cu cups of onion chopped up. So, I cooked my tomatoes, I mean, I cooked my onions and my bell pepper, cooked them down some, added those roasted garlics when they cooled. So I think there was like eight pots total. I mean, eight cloves to a pot. So that was 24 roasted garlic cloves. And I mashed them and they were so, I had to cheat and eat one. Okay, so I got all of those stewed. In other words, just cooked down, no salt, no pepper. And I took my tomatoes and I don't have a emerging, I don't have any of those blenders. I do it the old-fashioned way with the large screen net, back of a fork and a spoon, and I end up with 12, 12 cups of juice. So to the large stock pot, I had to add 12 cups of juice, 6 cups of onions, 6 cups of bell pepper. I cooked it for 10 minutes. Then I ladled it up in pints, put it in a water bath for 40 minutes, but I didn't count my 40 minutes till it came up to a rolling boil. So... Set them out after 40 minutes because I, I lift my rack up. I let my rack sit three minutes. Just three minutes. That gives it time to adjust to the temperature. Set them out on the table. I'm going to leave them till tomorrow. That's my fifth pop. So I've got four more to go because I ended up with nine pints. And I call it stewed tomato juice. Um, Maybe on our next live, y'all can ask me some more questions, but it's really simple. It just, it's just an easier way than blanching the tomato, putting in a nice water bath. Just roast them in the oven, and that's what we've done. And now, like I say, I've got a very large, I don't even know what size it would be, come from the restaurant. So, um, and it holds, I would say, every bit of 20 pounds of tomatoes. So, I just put them all in there, all shapes and sizes. And... Y'all may enjoy that because to me that's the base, basis for my vegetable soup. That's the basis for if you wanted even a thin, uh, like a like a dipping sauce. You've already got it. Just add your cumin and your other spices to it and cilantro. But that is what we prefer for our chili, for our spaghetti sauce, for our vegetable soup. It is basically just stewed tomato juice instead of stewed tomatoes. Because that's what I like to do with all the mixed up tomatoes because... They're really, in my opinion, useless to sit there and try to core them out and get that flesh. It's a lot of time. So, I hope you enjoyed the quick, high-sodium meal, but, you know, you can cheat. And, uh, got a surprise coming tomorrow for y'all. Mr. Buddy's got a surprise. 
I know it sure has made me happy today. Of course, he always makes me happy, but this morning was a very special day. We can't wait to bring it and share it with y'all. But until next time, God bless you all.